Hey guys, welcome back. It's Matt here and today we're taking a look at iOS 16 with a hands-on experience. So I've actually installed developer beta one. I've had a play around with it and it's actually super fun. As soon as you jump onto this lock screen, you're gonna be able to tell that this is definitely not your normal iOS. This is definitely iOS 16. You're greeted with this new bigger, bolder clock with dynamic lock screens that actually move and transition when you open up to the home screen. And you also have this depth effect on some of them. So the clock can actually be overlaid behind a subject or behind part of the wallpaper, which is actually so, so cool. And kind of reminds me of the watch face they had on the Apple Watch. You now also have the option to add widgets directly below that clock, and you can go and actually completely customize your lock screen. So if you hold down, it will open up this little carousel where you can easily switch between your lock screen pages. And then once you've actually chosen the lock screen, you can click customize and go in and actually change the font. So if you wanna change the font of this clock here, you can do that. You can also change the color and the brightness, and then you can click up at the top here and actually change that widget. So it doesn't have to be the date. You can make it your calendar entries or some sort of clock or fitness workout widget. That's actually really, really sweet especially if you want to have a dedicated lock screen for if you're working out, you can have all these little widgets and details specifically oriented around your workout schedule. And then directly below that clock is this little widget section. So you can actually add up to four small widgets or two large widgets or a mixture of both. And there isn't many so far. There's only the stock ones. However, you can add widgets to tell you the temperature, the UV index, the sunset times. You can also add fitness ones, which will tell you the calories you've burned or the amount of steps you've taken today, which I think is actually really useful. Now, once you've created this customized lock screen, you can actually go ahead and easily switch between other ones you've made. So if you hold down, it opens this carousel and then you can swipe over and actually apply one of the other lock screens you've put together. And on the right here, you can actually go into this add new section and it brings up this gallery of pre-made default lock screens that you can directly apply. So in this featured section, you have these sort of dynamic wallpapers. You have ones of the earth, which actually do have animations and move. You then have these emoji ones. These emoji ones, you can actually change the way the emojis are. So you can actually add new emojis and then you can go and change the actual pattern that are displayed by the emojis. That actually looks super cool with the bears and the aliens, although it does look very, very cluttered. So I don't think I'd rock this on a daily basis. So now we're gonna jump into iMessage. One of the coolest new features is you can now go ahead and edit your messages. So if you hold down on the bubble you sent, it's gonna give you the option to actually edit that. So if you click edit, you can then go in and change it. And once you've done that, it will actually go ahead and save as edited. So the person who's viewing the message will see you've actually gone back and changed it. But then if you wanna completely remove the message altogether, you just hold down on it and then click undo send and it's gonna completely vanish, poof, and now it's gone. So this can actually save you if you accidentally say something you're not meant to, or you, know, you send the message to the wrong person, you can now go and actually remove it, which is actually really, really handy. Another neat new feature is inside of the mail app, you can actually go ahead and schedule emails. So if we just write a little test email to myself and then you hold down on the send button right here and now you can choose to send it either now, send it tonight or tomorrow or even send it later. Another neat new feature is there's this bell right here in the subject field and when you click it, you can actually click to be notified whenever someone replies to the email thread. So if you're emailing a bunch of people and maybe you have a lot of emails on your device, you can actually be reminded. So if something's really important to you, if you're waiting to hear a response, you can be reminded straight away whenever the person does that. Now inside Safari, you now have the option to collaborate with your friends. So if you go into the tab section, you can create a new tab group. And then once you created it, you just click the share button up here and it now allows you to share it to your other friends so they can go and collaborate and add tabs or remove tabs from that tab group. Other than that, you do actually have improved dictation. So whenever you're gonna go ahead and dictate and speak out loud, it's gonna be slightly better than it was before. And on the log screen, you now also have this quick shortcut to reach the search. So whenever you wanna search for an application or any file on your device, you now just go ahead and click on that search button. It doesn't really make much difference because previously you would just swipe down. So I really don't get why they did that, but yeah, I guess it's there. Something I noticed is inside the wallet, there's actually this new small package icon. So when you click on that, it's gonna open up this orders page. So whenever you order something and pay using Apple Pay, it's gonna go ahead and be added directly in this section. So you can easily track everything you've ordered and paid for which is a really nice feature. It reminds me of Aftership when it tracks all your packages 
but now it's built directly into the wallet. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. That's a little hands-on experience with iOS 16 developer beta one. If you would like me to do a tutorial on how to install this for yourself completely free, then definitely do let me know down in the comment section. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you later. Peace.